Hello and welcome back. This time we're talking about second order delay system. Second order delay system. The second order delay system has two almost equal or one little slightly bigger, side slightly smaller part energy storage things uh, at least not one yeah. real systems always have a lot of energy storing parts but usually they have one one which is quite big compared to the others then it behaves like a first order delay system or maybe they have two which are comparable then it behaves like a second order delay systems all other storage uh, energy storage things inside they are yeah, usually small and cannot does not really count you cannot see it in their responses yeah. so let's have our first this is the step step response You know, the first order delay elements, they did have one characteristic size. This is either the characteristic frequency or the, the time constant. Yeah. Here, second order, we do have two. Input again, and output again. We have to have two characteristic things. However, the input is the same, right? So we have zero and some point in time we jump to a certain value and then that's it. Yeah? Step. Exactly the same as before. One one thing in our in our second order delay system is again some sort of time constant and the other thing is the so-called damping okay i will now draw uh, a system which is has a damping value of one one means it's not damped but not swinging as well and it almost it almost looks like a pt1 system yeah. However, there's one slight, slight but important difference. This is here at the start. It's not starting with a knick with bend. It's starting gentle. Yeah, it's starting to increase. And at some point in time, it then delays. Yeah. And then. So it almost looks here, this is damping one, let's say. Yeah. The main thing the main difference between a system second order and a system first order is this Wendepunkt here. This change, this change of the second Ableitung, zweite Ableitung, derivation, second derivation. Yeah. This change of the change of the steepness. <laughs> yeah. uh, damping one looks like this. If it's damped more, yeah. Yeah. I would not draw something like this. We also have this change, but it's going up gentle. This is D bigger than 1, okay? And if D is below 1, yeah, so I will not drive, look like 0 0.2 or something like this, then we also start with gentle. We go up very straight and fast, 
we will over swing here and then we start to swing. And the swing, swing, swing is damped. So this is a value, a brown 0 0.2, I would say. And it looks like this. Yeah. One thing which we want to achieve is that our, our output, our output is almost reaching our input very fast. So okay, you, we could say, oh, no overswinging, no overswinging, because then our output would maybe be too much. Yeah, we see much more than we actually have to measure. Yeah, so we use one. It's, it's the aperiodic uh, border case. Is it called aperiodic Grenzfall? I don't know exactly if this English word was correct. So it's the it's an extreme. It's just not over swinging. That means damping is one. Yeah. However, there is one, there's one thing which is reacting faster a little bit, and this is a damping of around 0 0.7. Then we go up, over swing a little bit, and we are not swinging under again. Yeah. This here is around 0 0.7 yeah. and most if we can influence the damping by adjusting some some gain or something like this then this is our approach because then we are almost there the overswing is acceptable it's not too much yeah. and and uh, the end value I have reached very fast so that's the usual, the usual thing. Okay. So here we do have characteristics. That's the that's again uh, the, the time constant and the stamping. Yeah. The time constant cannot be really, really be seen here. There is a possibility of doing this Wendepunkt tangent here, turning point tangent. But, you know, if you see something like this, important thing, if you see, if you see a turning point, yeah, then it's a second order system. Yeah. That's, that's, that's it. Yeah. These are the possible step responses of a second order system. On the response, on the sinus response, it looks pretty much the same like here. I will now right here first and second order because there's not too much difference in, in this picture. However, there is difference in the border plot. Here you can see the border plot. Okay. It's again very smooth at the beginning, no issue. There, yeah. then there is again some characteristic frequency where something happens, and then there is again a phase where the uh, amplitude relation is dropping very fast, much faster than a first order. Yeah, here you can see 10 times, 10 times the characteristic frequency is already only a hundredth of the output compared to the first to the first order oh scroll 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 you see it's much it's not that steep the other one is going down here very steep twice as steep yeah. so here we had minus 20 dB per decade and here we have whoa where is it minus 40 dB per decade Hundredstal, a uh, hundredstal, uh, hundred time, just one percent down, ten times frequency, one to one percent of the original, yeah? dropping very fast. So it will filter better. Okay, and here in this area around the characteristic frequency, 
there might be different behaviors. There might be uh, there might be things like that that it's really moving slow. Sometimes at really high dampings you can see one one band and then minus 20 dB per decade and then a second band to minus 40 dB per decade. This is then two characteristic time constants there. This is uh, maybe you can think of it two PT1 elements after each other, first order elements after each other. However, if the damping is not that high and very low, you will get around this characteristic frequency some resonance. Yeah? So we're getting higher output than input. Yeah? Resonance channel, resonance effect we have here around this. can be seen. Okay. So depending, depending on the damping, this here looks a little bit different in the Bode plot. Okay. The frequency, the frequency is also different yeah, because this is now again starting at zero, but however at the characteristic frequency I have minus 90 degree already, not minus 44, 45 and I will go down to almost minus 180, so almost shifting half of the, of the phase. Yeah. This is typical for second order delay system. Okay. So if the body plot looks like this, you know it's a second order. If you look at the frequency change, the frequency change is also looking different depending on the on the uh, damping. I have here in the script I have summarized in the next in the next sides for you. So that's the body block of a body plot of a first order element. Yeah. That's the step response of the first order element. Yeah. That's the so-called What's Kurve? I will not mention it now. It will come later uh, if we're talking about control theory. Yeah. So that's the first order. And the second order, you see, I have done it for different dampings. Yeah. Damping 0 0.2, we have some resonance. 0 0.7, we have no resonance here. 1 is looking smooth. And here at damping three, we can somehow say, see, uh -huh, let's zoom in. Maybe there is one band and there is one band and in between is also straight. This looks like two PT1 elements after each other. And the frequency, the frequency is looking accordingly. Yeah? Very steep on low, low dampings and in two steps at high dampings. Okay, it's the frequency phase diagram. And you also have the jumps for different for different dampings here. Input goes to one, damping 0 0.2 swinging, damping 3 crawling. Yeah? But you always see here there is this change. And since the impulse is just inverse of the of the step response like I mentioned before we can also see this hi-hat here I have drawn in the last video yeah where written this was was already a second order this is a damping below one of course because it's swinging if it's not swing of course we see here this turning point again somehow yeah. That's it. Yeah. From the impulse function, you can exactly read out the same things like from the step function. Okay. And again, we do have all parts together, yeah, all test functions. If you're interested in the math behind or in the or just now we have two transfer, they call transfer elements. We have an element 
which is the first order delay element and the second order delay element is the second element, there are much more. There are proportional elements, there are differentiators, there are integrators, there are... Ooh, there. If you're interested in this, I'll give you a hint, watch the video series about control theory. There you will get satisfied with these needs, if you have them. <laughs> Uh, I doubt, but we'll get to this in 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 the contour theory, okay? Uh, and there we will also cover the math behind those things. Right now we have it empiric empiric approach. We see a response, and then we can say, okay, this is that and that element. And like I said, in second order element, we should try to reach. Uh, damping of 0 0.7 and in first order element we have to stay a factor 10 below the characteristic frequency. So that's it for the dynamic behavior of our measurement systems. Next video we are talking about the structures, possible structures of our measurement systems. Yeah. So we know already the measurement chain we will repeat this chain approach. There are several other approaches which will then be the follow-ups. Okay. So long. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.